What's going on, people? Welcome to another edition of Baseball Talk. I am your host, Fran Rojas. We got to talk about the resurrection of a certain pitcher, a certain relief pitcher, one of the most interesting, intriguing, nastiest closers that I've seen watching baseball in my lifetime. You probably know who I'm talking about by now. Craig Kimbrell. Craig Kimbrell, out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. He's been, he, he was six feet under the last two years. Absolutely terrible since he got to the Chicago Cubs in 2019, holding out for uh, a contract like him and Keuchel uh, did in 2019 for you know a few months into that season. And, uh, you know, he was terrible. He was awful in 2019. He wasn't. He was still bad in 2020, wasn't as bad as he was in 2019. Uh, but no one saw what he's doing this year. No one saw that coming. You're a liar if you could tell me that you saw what Craig Kimbrell is doing this year. You're a liar if you could tell me that you saw uh, what was coming. I mean, look at his. let's just look at his simple stats. ERA, .61. Microscopic. 20 saves, second in Major League Baseball. And a 15K per nine. Those are all kind of back towards where his numbers were, uh, you know, three, four years ago. Um, simply put, just from the eye test, just watching him, uh, and it's a pleasure to watch him again. It's not like his velocity ever dipped or his stuff was ever just bad. Um, I just think he his sequences, um, not getting first pitch strikes like he used to, uh, were a big part the last couple of years. Um, and he just didn't, he lacked conviction. He didn't seem confident, uh, you know, throwing, uh, you know, throwing the baseball. And that's obviously if you're a pitcher and you're, you're an avid fan of baseball, you understand that that's a huge, huge reason, uh, you know, to, to great pitching, to being a good pitcher, especially in the majors. You gotta, you gotta be confident, uh, no matter what pitch you're throwing, you know, even after you give up a homer, if you can say like, I was confident in, in throwing that pitch. Uh, you know, that's what, that's what it is for Kimbrell this year, man. He just, he, he looks confident out there. Um, and as a result, man, he's getting this for the first pitch, a uh, strike percentage 64% of the time. It's so crucial, uh, you know, to setting up that knuckle curve with where he's throwing a hundred on the fastball and he comes back with a devastating knuckle curve, throws in the dirt, batters looking stupid. He's looking like he did three, four years ago for Boston, man. And, uh, it's really, really fun to watch. You know, walk percentage is way down, lowest since 2017. Whiff percentage, you know, that's one of the most important things for him. Uh, best since 2018. Uh, he's had uh, a few streaks where he just hasn't let up hits. He's uh, been setting records, um, just just not letting up hits uh, so far into the season. That's how good he has been. Um, and, you know, the, the Cubs are sitting top first place. There, there were a lot of questions about the Cubs. Uh, you know, going into this season, whether they're going to be a contender, uh, whether they're going to be trading a lot of their pieces. Kimbrel's actually come up in trade rumors. I don't know why you would trade the guy at this point. Uh, not the numbers he's putting up. Um, I just don't think you can. And if you're the Cubs at this point right now, you're probably trying to, you know, trying to make the playoffs. I, I don't see Bryant or Rizzo or Baez getting traded right now. But regardless, uh, Kimbrel has been a, a huge reason for them. Uh, I mean, obviously. I mean, these aren't just good numbers. These are incredible numbers. You can not even great, but they're incredible what, what he's done this year. And it's a pleasure watching. I love good pitching. Uh, I love to see nasty stuff. Um, you know, watching Kimbrell put a fastball, a four-seamer at the top of the zone, and then just come back where it's that same tunnel, and it that knuckle curve just dives down. It's disgusting. You can't even blame hitters for chasing after the stuff. Uh, it's just really fun to watch. Um, it's, it's really... It's refreshing to see, you know, Kimbrel just back confident uh, because no one saw this coming. Like I said in the beginning, you're a liar if you can tell me that you saw this coming from Craig, Craig Kimbrel. Only Kimbrel and maybe the you know, his teammates and guys around him maybe knew it uh, themselves. Uh, but it's really awesome to see Craig Kimbrel back doing his thing. Uh, but let me know what you guys think about Kimbrel right now. Uh, is he going to keep this up all season? Is he going to have an ERA under one? Uh, is, you know, how much are you enjoying watching uh, Kimbrell? Because he's must-see TV again. Him, Emmanuel Classe, uh, 
some of these some of these relief pitchers are just absolutely nasty. Where you know you got a lot of guys are throwing ninety five to hundred coming out of the pen with just nasty stuff. But hey, man, Kimbrel's been been in the league for a while, uh, and he's back doing his thing. So let me know what you thought of this episode. Let me know in the comments. Uh, get at me on Twitter at Rojas underscore media underscore Instagram at Rojas underscore media. Go follow me there. I post clips uh, of all my videos and uh, post clips of, you know, all sorts of baseball stuff, all baseball content and basketball. Love the Sixers, unfortunately. Just lost a heartbreaker to the Hawks. That season's over. Uh, we'll have a, a season wrap up and an ideal look at a perfect offseason for the Sixers. Or this might be one of the biggest offseasons ever for the Philadelphia 76ers going forward. Uh, so you're going to want to look out for that. Um, and yeah, just let me know what you thought of this episode, and I'll see you guys next time.